Selby wakes up around 6.30, 7 o'clock, depending on what time Sophia wakes up every morning. And he goes and prepare her breakfast. And here's a bit of ASMR, as they call it. I hope you enjoy this video. Here we have Sophia eating her breakfast and of course my coffee it's really nice I tend to swap coffee and tea a lot is that yummy Time to feed this little girl over here <laughs> and uh, yeah we'll see what we can do today as the weather is still pretty bad hey. we've had really nice weather last week so I guess it would have to be the opposite this week right time to change your outfit because you're the only one that mommy likes to dress up. Yeah. Time for breakfast. Woo, leftover curry. Don't judge me. And we have Reese there eating her leftover curry. And Sophia, where are you? There you are. <gasps> Say hi. Now still in the kitchen. But we just came back in here to give Sophia some snacks. And while Sophia's having her food, I'm editing my videos and Selby's working on his laptop. <laughs> Sophia loves bananas, don't you? Yeah. She goes ape What's that, Sophia? Make a laugh. combination ever for a justice woman anyway
Sophia is going to go to sleep now. While Sophia is sleeping, I wanted to talk to you guys about why my parents came down the other day. Because they slept over that night. Well, we've had quite an upsetting weekend, as I said in the previous episode, uh, previous video. Um, on Saturday evening, we found out that my granddad has passed away. And in the morning, I was told that he's... He got sent to the hospital and was in a coma. But in the back of my head, I was thinking, that's it. He's never going to wake up anymore. I brushed that thought away, hoping that he would get better. I have no clue if it was a silly thing to do or not. Because then, obviously, in the evening, we found out that he had passed away. Um... Maybe I should have expected it more instead of just brushing the thought away but it hurts a lot and the day after me and Salby kind of had a little talk if we should or if we shouldn't go and visit my parents because I know for a fact that my dad was devastated. Especially I was the one who brought the news to him because I found it out on Facebook. But, um, yeah, so. We got, we, we've got everything all packed in, not in the car, but everything was packed. And then we kind of pro broke down, kind of. Well, I broke down because thinking about what would happen if we get caught considering it's the weekend there's a lot more people out on the weekend i guess and we saw that there was like a lot of police cars around in the morning because we tend to go shopping saturday or sunday but um so we were shocked it's funny because mom and dad had a barbecue on sunday for their dinner and us joking around saying could we have some and a day after mom said that they're gonna send some food for delivery but little did we know that they were the ones that delivering the food which was really nice and well obviously considering Sophia hasn't seen my parents for a long time he she was confused she didn't know who they are at the start but slowly she gradually started rem starting remembering which made my dad perk up and end up being cheerful in the end which was really nice to see um and they slept over funny because they weren't planning on sleeping over luckily we had an air bed a double one so they slept on that and yeah so we played cards all all evening it was nice to see my dad laughing and smiling and they went home yesterday after Sophia had gone for her nap. But yeah, that's that's it really. Well, He's away! And that's his smiles kind of as daddy left her in her cot after waking her up. <sighs> Look at this girl. Oh yeah. Are you vacuuming? <laughs> Sophia. You wanna do some vacuuming, Sophia? Clean the floor up for mummy. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. 
You're meant to be working. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Daddy's gone. Where'd Daddy go? Want some water? Ooh, it's over here. It's over here. Ah, you got it. Nice cup of tea in the afternoon with some biscuits. Quarantine life. This is what we do. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Sophia is doing daddy's work for him. Doing a much better job than him. Look at that. Look at those typing skills. Today we're having dinola. It is chicken stew with fish sauce and other stuff. There's Reese. Everybody is raring to eat, especially Sophia. How's the food? Amazing. You haven't even tried it. No. Ten out of ten from Reese. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Ten. 11. 11 out of 10 from Reese. 110 out of Sophia? is devouring her food as usual. Just finished eating and I say it's a win. There's still some for leftovers for tomorrow's lunch. And I think Sophia also enjoyed it, I'm not sure. I think she's saving those grains of rice for later. She's smacking her lips a lot. Yeah. Did you like it? So Sophia is all showered and all clean. Now I'm just gonna brush her hair and then she'll have her story with her daddy. And then she's gonna go to sleep. She's trying to watch the TV. I'm trying to avoid the camera and watch the TV. That's just a typical day for her. Especially when we're talking to my family. Trying to avoid the camera. Alright, Sophia, you're gonna say good night. You're gonna say good night to everyone. No? Alright, that's it for today. We are going to probably play once Sophia is sleeping. So we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.